KBN will keep you informed. News in 5 for April 25, 2019. Jamaica to resume shipment of mangoes to the U.S. in May. Teacher to stand trial for manslaughter. Two-year-old killed in St. James hit and run, another hospitalized. JUTC bus crashes into overturned truck. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Jamaica to resume shipment of mangoes to the U.S. in May. Come next month, Jamaica will resume exports of mangoes to the United States. This according to Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries Minister Audley Shaw. This has been facilitated through the Mango Radiation Program. Under the program, the ministry works with the United States Department of Agriculture, Animal and Plant Health Inspection Services to ensure compliance with the U.S. import requirements. Would stipulate that mangoes be treated by radiation or hot water immersion prior to being brought in. As an incentive, the ministry will provide assistance by waiving the fees associated with inspection, storage, and use of the plant quarantine or produce inspection facilities for a one year period from May 2019 to May 2020, Shaw informed. He added that only approved mango exporters to the United States will be eligible for this waiver at an estimated value of $1 million per exporter for the year. Shaw was making his 2019-2020 sectoral debate presentation in the House of Representatives on Tuesday. Three farms have already been approved to participate under the program, with another 12 on the verge of approval. Meanwhile, Shaw indicated that a fruit tree program unit will be established to commence an initiative that he announced last year to plant 5 million fruit trees over a five-year period. We are exploring grant funding, including the UN Green Climate Fund, to boost the program. The unit will be staffed by the Rural Agricultural Development Authority, the Research and Development Division of the Ministry, and the 4-H clubs, he said. Teacher to stand trial for manslaughter. Karen Cunningham, the St. James teacher, who is charged in connection with the death of Anchovy Primary School student Easton Sapleton, who was killed in a vehicular accident at the school last June, will stand a trial for common law manslaughter before the St. James Circuit Court on September 16. Cunningham seemed distressed as presiding judge Annette Austin gave the court date during her committal hearing in the St. James Parish Court on Wednesday. The accused woman was also offered fresh bail in the sum of $400,000 with two sureties. In handing down her ruling, Austin explained that Cunningham's previous charge of causing death by dangerous driving was altered because of the circumstances of the incident, where a young Sapleton was reportedly struck and killed by a motor vehicle driven by the defendant on the grounds of the Anchovy Primary School on June 12, 2018. The charge of causing death by dangerous driving could not be sustained because it did not happen along a roadway. The Crown will not have to prove she, Cunningham, intended to kill the person and manslaughter is a lesser charge to murder, said Austin. I am committing the accused to stand trial in Montego Bay at the Circuit Court to be held on September 16, 2019 as a prima facie case where a case's information is accepted as correct until proven otherwise is made out against her, Austin added. Seven witness statements, the accident reconstruction report and the post-mortem report were also admitted into evidence for the upcoming trial. Two-year-old killed in St. James hit and run, another hospitalized. Detectives assigned to the St. James Police Division are proving the circumstances surrounding the death of a two-year-old girl and the injury of another on the Howard Cook Highway in Montego Bay in the parish on Tuesday. The deceased has been identified as two-year-old Sasha Gay Dennis of John Saul, Montego Bay, St. James. The police report that at about 6.50 p.m., Sasha Gay and another child were in the process of crossing the roadway when they were hit by a Nissan motor car that did not stop. Both girls sustained multiple injuries and were taken to the hospital where Sasha Gay was pronounced dead and the other girl was admitted for treatment. So basically what happened is that um, they were in a KFC, right there so. Um, some children were crossing the street with their mother and a man was speeding up the road, like full on speeding and hit the kids, seeing all of them. Now, he hit the kids and him stop. And one of them, the oldest one, she she under the care like I'm licking her down and she she mash up and then her hand under the care and then the man reverse on her hand. Isn't me like like 
Like him, 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 him never have no kind of regard for him. Reverse pun him, drive over and again. And I, I believe it was the same for the other child, which was an eight year old. Um, but the, peop the people, the bystanders and things, them run for the help and you know, they thought the man was going to come out of the car because he stopped. Only for him, for him, for him drive up, you know, shoot off, drive over the child again, two of them again and drive past them up to top road. Now, you might have mentioned I said that his top road block off. Zane, because the man speak a top road and I realize the traffic is up there. So what happened now is that him drive the top road and the mother of the child, the children are saying, where's my baby? She talks in front of KFC, she asks the man, the people who are helping, who are helping her, you know, where's my baby, where's my baby? Where's my baby, I don't see my baby. Only, you know, they must say, see the eight year old, they say the 15 year old. Only for them realize that there was a baby brother. And yeah, there was a baby. And the man, in his haste to get away from the scene, him dragged with the baby under the car all the way up to top road and um no before i go any further let me just say that at this at this time all ch all three of the children are fine they're, they're not fine they're at the hospital they're not dead i don't know what the status is but but the, the 15 year old the oldest one is mangled her arm is mangled the eight year old i don't know the status of the eight year old the baby there's a lot of blood but um they said the baby was was um was not yeah the, they were, they were saying that the baby was not dead, but they couldn't tell whether or not the, the injuries were life threatening. But the baby was dragged from KFC to to run about um, the entrance to to Mount Alverna, Mount Alverna prep. So, police investigators are asking anyone with information to contact the Montego Bay Police at eight seven six nine five three six one nine one. That's eight seven six nine five three six one nine one. Police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station. JUTC bus crashes into overturned truck. The driver of a Jamaica Urban Transit Company, JUTC bus, escaped serious injuries yesterday after crashing into an overturned trailer truck on the Golden Spring Main Road in Northern St. Andrew. The bus driver was not hurt. It is said that the bus driver was on his way to pick up passengers when he crashed about 5.05 a.m. A JUTC investigator said that based on conditions at the time, the driver did not see the truck and despite braking was unable to prevent the crash. He was taken to the hospital for treatment. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.